हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज डॉक्टर लॉकेंद्र सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एनसिपल एज यू कैन सी ऑन द टॉप स्क्रीन दैट एनसिपल इज रिटर्न हियर सो फॉर श्योर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस ओनली सो वॉट इज पाइथन वॉट इज एनसिपल सो एनसिपल इज अ प्रोग्राम विच इज रिटर्न इन पाइथन मोस्ट ऑफ लाइक मॉड्यूल विच आर सपोर्टेड बाई एनसिपल सो दीज आर रिटर्न इन पाइथन सो this per, this particular program is used to manage your uh, ci and cd it means continuous integration and continuous deployment sort of work ansible can perform not only this all the task which you have to perform in sequential manner for example you have to install some packages restart services copying file from one place to another so these type of task where you have, uh, which you have to perform on multiple servers and same sort of like uh, sequen- sequential task you need to perform so these tasks can be automated using ansible obviously if you want so you can provision infra as well using ansible because ansible is such a tool which supports multiple modules so i will definitely demonstrate that how to do that so but before that let us try to install ansible on our operating system so first of all let us try to see that what operating system we are using here etc red hat okay uh red hat release so currently we are using our uh, red hat enterprise linux uh, uh, release 7.6 okay so now let us try to check whether we have back, uh, yum repo list that how many repos we have so currently we have multiple repos here including epel epel means extra packages for enterprise linux fine so we have multiple packages here now we can grab we can check out whether we have exact package what we are looking for yum list after that we will run a command grab and then after we have to mention a n ansible so this will take a this will take some time because obviously it will create some metadata and after that it will print information so yes we do have and uh, what all packages do we have so we have ansible.noarc then what version we are using so version is 2.8.1 and release is 1.el17 so this is uh, how we uh, we identify any package right now we are going to install it yum install and after that we need to mention the package name good so we will hit enter and of obviously it will be installed with couple of dependencies how let me tell you that so first of all pyml is the particular module which will be required by uh, ansible in the same here like libyml python bible and multiple more packages ssh patch command will be required by ansible so these packages are going to be installed so it is going to take somewhere uh, like total download will be 18 mb that will be in compressed format once that is supposed to be installed so you should have at least 100 mb space available free on your operating system only then it will be installed otherwise definitely you are going to get some errors while installing ansible okay so ansible is being installed as we can see on the screen this is going to take a while and after that i am going to tell you that what are main configuration files we have with ansible okay so very first of all let us check whether this particular has been installed or not rpm hyphen QA then grab ansible so yes ansible has been installed now if we need to check that what all files has been created when this rpm was installed so we can run a command rpm hyphen q l and then after this package name let us uh, make it uh, a bit more easy for you to understand so first of all so we have uh, like In, we have placed one more command after it so what we are going to see here is first of all etc and ansible okay so etc ansible is a file or you can call it like it is a directory which contains rest of files which are responsible which are related to ansible for example it has etc ansible ansible.cfg this is main configuration file of ansible so uh, this is for role and this is binary file of ansible so as and when we shall be running ansible uh, and multiple like sub commands of ansible mo- ansible commands module we will be running so ansible is the command which is available under slash usr bin and ansible 
okay then after uh, this is ansible 2.7 and config collection console and multiple things are here in the same manner we have a command like known as ansible galaxy galaxy uh, different version then after uh, as we execute ansible playbook so that is the command which is installed under slash usr bin and after that multiple commands related to ansible are available here so what you need to check here is like you need to check that we have side packages and obviously like what packages or what modules are supported by ansible we can easily check out here i am going to show you that that what modules does it support so give me a moment so okay so module underscore utilities so this is the thing which i was trying to module list module utilities so you can check that how many modules are available here so modules are available first of all for aws and obviously after aws uh, modules are available for azure so azure modules are available then after cloud stack then after common modules which are used for all the clouds and all then after it has module for different uh, like di like digital ocean it has couple of modules for databases then after it has modules for docker Do you can uh, manipulate with docker swarm as well it you can manipulate your uh, ec2 then after uh, ansible can work with your different type of hardware as well for example if you need to provision your hardware you need to install something on the top of your hardware you have bare metal then after namespace network and multiple modules you can you can check out here same here like uh, it can manage virtual machines and uh, other things as well uh, it can manage google cloud digital ocean aws azure so different and multiple client multiple uh, cloud computing environment it can manage in fact it supports vmware as well so this is what we saw here that how to check that what all modules are available okay apart from this uh, if i run a command uh, okay docker is available here so let me type in here ansible hyphen doc then dash l if i run this command so obviously it is going to say that what all sub commands are available and what all things we can do with this so uh, if i run a command ansible hyphen uh, ansible dash doc dash l so it will print all the information about that what all commands are available here and what all things like we were checking out before so what is what we are going to do here is and uh, what is available so you can check it out and obviously you can read you can get the output of it great so now what we are going to do here is we are going to check that what all things do we have with ansible available so first of all let us check about ansible so if i run a command <coughs> okay if i want to check version so ansible hyphen capital v okay ansible hyphen hyphen version so it says that uh, ansible version is available 2.8.1 this is main configuration file of ansible then after configured module search path is this so if you want to search that how many modules are installed then you can check it out here and uh, ansible python module location is this so obviously like this is going to work with 2.7 python then after executable location is slash bin slash ansible and everything is available here whatever uh, you, information you want you can check it out here great so as it is saying that python version is this default uh, like may 20 2019 every information is it is printing out related to ansible so now if i want to check that what are the rpms which is providing ansible command so if i want to check so i can do like this like rpm hyphen qf then after slash bin and uh, obviously ansible so ansible rpm is responsible for providing this particular file now let us go to main configuration file of ansible slash etc ansible and after that we have multiple files first of all we have ansible.conf so if we go into this file then we will get to know that what are things which which are mentioned within this so inventory file by default the inventory file is known as less etc ansible and host but yes if you want you can change the uh, you, you can uncomment this file and you can change the name of this configuration file and you can start using different other file in place of this then after where libraries are installed what all module utilities utilities are available where like remote temp file will be created local temp file will be created like uh, plugin filters configuration where we have 
like uh, different type of users we can mention here for example you have common user maybe you are going to create ansible user or ansible admin user on different servers because ansible works on ssh connection so you will have to do that uh, definitely we will see in upcoming videos that how to work with ansible so like uh, we will have to define whether user uh, once a user is logged into different uh, remote user so will it have permission to do sudo or not so will it ask for sudo password or not will it ask for password or not so everything you can define here for example your remote servers it means your client servers are working on a different port so obviously you can modify here the port numbers for example you are running your your ssh on port 2222 so you can modify your port number as well here so everything whatever you want by default the thing which you are trying to access which you are trying to manipulate or which you are trying to work with so everything will be managed here within ansible.cfg file in the same manner if we talk about your second file which is known as host so in host file we can see that there are different sections available wherein you can define your host name server ip address and obviously like this is the section here which is like group of the servers so either you can define your web server db server so if you want to categorize your servers in different stack for, for example you want to categorize your servers uh, under your web server db server and others so obviously you can do that using this particular tag here okay so this is how it works and the final uh, thing is i'm going to show you here that is rules so under rules there is no file or directory created as of now we will create and obviously we are going to utilize this thing i'm going to demonstrate all upcoming things in coming videos so this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again if you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you and please keep on following this playlist because within this i'm going to show you all uh, like uh, production level environment setup and how to perform all the things thank you very much have a good time happy learning please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you